So in the series of corrosion, I am ready with yet another type of corrosion. Today, uh, we are going to discuss about reverse of extraction of metal and that too, one of the type which is pitting corrosion. Pitting corrosion, as the name suggests, something which is pit, right? Formation of a hole. And what happens here also is formation of pinholes, pits or cavities in the metal because of the corrosion. Now, this type of corrosion is a very localized accelerated attack. It's very localized because it only happens at a particular area. And that is why it is also known as non-uniform corrosion because it does not uniformly take place on the surface. It only takes place at a particular place. Now, which is that particular place? The place which is having certain kind of irrelevant impurity right let's say if you have entire metallic surface but then some impurity is left here so what happens is this area becomes anodic because it is not in touch with the environment directly while this area becomes cathodic because it is in touch with the environment directly so because of this dust particle this small area becomes anodic and similarly, if there is result, I mean, if there is a breakdown or cracking of protective film, let's say if you have a substance and the protective film is this, but then it develops a crack. So what happens is that particular crack portion here it is develop a crack so here the metal is in direct contact with the environment while here the metal is having a protective film so this area will become cathode and this area will become anode so that is how it is non-uniform their uh, metal may be uh, corrosion resistant but then the anodic area would be rather small and cathodic area would be large because of the differential amount of oxygen here also uh, you may see in the structure here iron concentration uh, like the film breaking takes place and this becomes anode and this becomes cathode so large area is of cathode now do you remember in the previous videos also i said that when the cathodic area is large then the demand of electrons would be more fine and the supply is by anodic area so this is a dangerous combination when the cathodic area is large demand is more supply has to be more and supply is because of the corrosion that means corrosion will get intensified oxidation will get intensified and in pitting corrosion this only happens the cathodic area is large cathodic area cathodic area is large and anodic area is a small and this is also dangerous in the thing that once a small pit is formed rate of corrosion will be increased i'll tell you uh, how do we understand this like let's say this is the metal and then there is one uh, drop of uh, some certain uh, solution is there or a dust is there so this particular area is not in touch with the environment so that becomes anode due to which iron gets corroded and then there is a pit formation takes place there is a cavity now this is anode this is obviously cathode in touch with the environment now as i said it is very localized right localized means it will happen again at the same spot same spot will become anode and uh, uh, same spot uh, will become cathode right so what happens is this particular area will again get corroded and the pit will intensify because the iron will get lost from here again the corrosion will occur at this anodic portion this is cathodic portion and the pit will get intensified i hope you are understanding the fact here that it is localized and the corrosion will take place at the same spot and the pit will get increased right now this reaction will continue further since anodic area is small cathodic area is large this must i guess you are understood now how to confirm or how to you know have a test so the test is can be done by using a peroxyl indicator peroxyl indicator is basically a mixture of two indicators phenolphthalein and potassium ferricyanide now since oh minus is formed at the cathode as per the reaction uh, taking up of electron is uh, reduction that have occurs at cathode right so what happens is this area becomes basic and since this area becomes basic it imparts pink color to the phenolphthalein indicator and similarly at the anode i said iron gets corroded so it gives you metallic iron iron oxidized iron 2 plus is formed which will combine with ferricyanide and it will show blue color to you so by 
looking these two colors we can further confirm that which area is anodic and which area is cathodic that's one of the test looking uh, further to this topic i can show you different different types of pits also as i said the pit will uh, intensify so these uh, thing will get intensified you can see every type of pit is getting intensified inside horizontal grain attack subsurface undercutting these are the different types of pit it is going to develop now you imagine this is also quite uh, you know dangerous because on surface it looks nice on surface it is all uniform you are not able to see that the metal is getting corroded but the pit is getting developed inside and then some time it will come on the surface so there are certain factors which affect this distortion formation of pit uh, what happens certain time when some scratches or cut edges are developed then that particular portion becomes anode when there is certain roughness or non uniformity on the surface then that area becomes anode if there is certain local straining and if there is siding under the load or there is certain chemical attack on the surface certain alternative stresses are there certain sometimes only flow of solution over metal can uh, cause that and there are certain other specific conditions so if some of the factors are met then it happens that the small portion becomes anode and the rest of the portion becomes cathode that is uh, the main thing coming again to how do you remember it what we have understood so far is pitting corrosion don't forget it is a localized form of corrosive attack that produces hole or small pits in the metal and the bulk of the metal remains unattacked right it's almost similar uh, to that of crevice corrosion there also the same thing happens in fact i'll call it as a specific case of crevice corrosion and pitting is often found in situations where resistance against general corrosion is conferred by the passive surface film when the passive surface film is there and then there is uh, you know uh, the film get broken from anywhere then particular area becomes anode also it can be attacked by microbial activity uh, sbr or srb you can say uh, if you want me to cover microbiological corrosion also please do mention in the comment i'll uh, discuss that in detail so as of now pitting can be one of the most dangerous form of corrosion because it is difficult to anticipate and you know uh, uh, difficult to detect because it occurs inside the surface coming to uh, corrosion pits are the primary sources of leak here you can see uh, some of the pictures where pitting corrosion has uh, created a problem like here corrosion damage occurred uh, in old incident it is in 1992 nowadays though we understand that what is pitting corrosion and we take care of it but a single pit can cause that much of the damage can explode uh, or can create a blast in a particular sewer uh, pipeline that is a big issue and this is also one more example to show you the pitted surface uh, produced by exposing a specimen of aluminium to uh, the salt solution during 7 days this is how it looks and these are one more or few examples of pitting corrosion that was a disaster uh, along with stress corrosion pitting corrosion also was one of the reason of collapse of silver bridge and then these are two more examples you can see so i hope with that you are able to understand what is pitting corrosion generally it results in formation of pitting it is a localized corrosion here also anodic area is comparatively smaller in comparison to that of cathodic areas so if you have understood the topic please hit like that will give me motivation you can mention in the comments if you want more of the topics to be covered and please do subscribe for continuing to the playlist thank you so much